y'all it's your girl v lee welcome back to my channel or should i say good morning because it's let me see what time it is it's 6 17 in the morning yeah i just got to my truck i'm about to get my day started since i'm local i share a truck with somebody i drive it in the daytime he drives it at nighttime and y'all i was so happy when i got on this truck because that man is clean i've never seen him in person i talked to him on the phone i introduced myself or whatever real cool but yeah i was like okay good i ain't sharing the truck with no nasty person because i done heard stories about slipsy how people be nasty but of course like when i get in here in the morning time spray everything down and before i leave i try to spray everything down too just courtesy But it's literally like nothing in the truck. We don't keep nothing in here. Now, I do um, got like a, a little blanket and my little neck pillow. That's just for if I get to a ship or a receiver and they taking too long to unload or something, then I could just go back there and be comfortable and lay down or whatever. My Qualcomm is turned off right now, so I'm gonna have to kill the, kill the power and start it back up. We got action. Because I'm Slipsy and we share the truck, he logs out of the Qualcomm at the end of his shift and then at the end of my shift, I log completely out of the Qualcomm. When I was on the truck with China, we both stayed logged in at the same time because you had to. Like if you team it, both of y'all gotta be logged in to the Qualcomm at the same time. But it's not like that when you Slipsy in. Because um, it's two people assigned to the truck and we're not assigned at the same time, they usually have to like, unassign him from the truck after his shift so when i come in in the morning i'm not even assigned to the truck so i have to send a message from the qualcomm and say hey this is driver so and so could you assign me to truck number so and so on trip number so and so i got two loads for the day and luckily terrence found me a trailer last night or he already or he had a trailer came back with a trailer whatever it was but we worked out this thing where at the end of my shift i try to find him an empty if it's dirty, then I'll go ahead and like clean it out. Vice versa, if he has the if he finds the empty at nighttime, cool. If he doesn't, we don't stress about it. Or if I don't find the empty, then we just don't stress about it. But we try, cause majority of these shippers want you to come with an empty if you are taking a load, so that they can have trailers to load. I know some of y'all probably like, dang, she's sitting in the truck. When is she gonna do her pre trip? I usually. So my routine is I usually go ahead and log myself in and go on duty first because I'm not doing nothing off of the clock. So this takes a while. It's no telling how long it's going to take for them to assign me to the truck for the Qualcomm to come up and my logs to refresh and all of that. So once this come up, then I'm going to go ahead and do my pre-trip because even though he brought this trailer back, you just never know what happened between him going home and me getting here. So got to make sure everything is in order. Let's see what the inside of this trailer looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these little big parts out. I'm about to go ahead and look on my Qualcomm now to look at the notes for this um this pickup because some places are real anal about like the fuel level on the reefer. So like this place I went to what yes Friday, they wanted it strictly to be on full. You could not bring that trailer if it wasn't on full, and I had like a little bit over three four. And they was like nope, go fuel it. So I'm about to look down because this trailer has like a little bit over three four. So I'm gonna see if that's good or whether I need to go ahead and fuel it here. So my first load is picking up from Medline in McDonough and then going to, let me see, Costco in College Park. So that's my first load. And then I think my second load, let me see. My second load is picking up from Kennesaw, Hershey, Atlanta Bonded, and then going to their other warehouse in Ackworth. And then I'll be done for today. I just pulled up the notes for the place that I'm picking up from first. And I'm glad that I pulled it up. So I'm good with the three-fourth of a tank because that's what they require. But child, some of these places be having so many rules and stipulations. Like they got no overnight parking. 
no restroom. They got fines for early arrival, fines for late arrival, pre-cooling required before loading, no bob telling allowed. Glad I got a trailer. No passengers allowed. Well, damn. No dogs allowed. Damn. All right, let me go ahead and get moving. coffee back in the truck on the way to the load see this right here is why i'll be having two gps's going at the same time because this one done cut off so hey i ain't got time for it to wait on um i ain't got time to wait for it to come back on some of these places it be looking like we ain't supposed to go so i had to check and make sure this one i'm supposed to be going child it's the right facility doyle U.S. cold storage, cause child, it was looking like I was about to get stuck somewhere. I was like, oh, hold on. I guess while I'm sitting here, I might as well go ahead and get my PO numbers and stuff ready. Sometimes they be having so many PO numbers, I be like, okay, what y'all number start with? Because yeah, y'all got about 20 POs on here. Oh, for my non-truckers, that's purchase order. The purchase order number. This is what I'm talking about, y'all. Okay. Go ahead and confirm I arrived. Why am I 440 minutes late? Because I just got dispatched on this yesterday, so that was an impossible load. Impossible dispatch. But this is what I mean when I say you be having so many purchase orders. I'll be like, okay. But my confirmation number right there, so I'm good. I'm checking in. And so I done had to fill out this little form or whatever. And they be having you put your personal information on here. They ask for your phone number. I got a Google voice number just for that because it be some weirdos. And they be trying to get your whole full name and all of that. And yeah, you gonna get this Google voice number. Y'all gonna say hello to my vlog. Yeah. Yeah. What's going on? I'm gonna say hey, hi, bye. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, fellow Martin, co-worker. What's up? What's up? <laughs> I got my paperwork, so I'm about to go drop this empty trailer in the dock door. They told me to put it in door 30. Ship on the receiving office. Got my paperwork. So now I can go get my trailer and head to the next delivery. It's 8.20. So my appointment time at 9.30. It should not take me an hour, well, I don't know, to get from McDonough to College Park. Like that's literally around the corner. They got the temperature right here, say. It's supposed to be set at 34 degrees. So let's see if it's set at 34 degrees. Cause if not, it's going back to the door. All right, it's at 34. I done had a few places where the seal number did not match. All right, that match. Yep. As y'all can see, they got the tandems all the way at the back. That's what most places do when you load it. So I'm about to pull my truck up. I'm about to go ahead and move up so I can slide my tandems. But before I do that, go to the roof. Do your tug test. I ain't got time to be looking like a fool with the trailer on the ground. The trailer on the ground, honey. Now I can move. I moved up just so I can have some space for the trailer to come back. Cause I don't want to tear down the fence. because I didn't even have enough space for me to do it. So it should be good now. I just made it to my delivery with one minute to spare. Appointment time, 9.30, got here at 9.29. So of course, I'm in the line. Costco line always be long. This is really like home for me because I don't know if y'all know, but when I was with Swift, I was 
on this account. Like this was my home. So it's like being back home. Oh. Wait, did you just cry for this? Yep. <laughs> Of course, they not ready for me yet. They gave me this little thing, park in the yard. So once the dock door is ready, then that will buzz, and then I'll know what dock to go to. I already know it's 221. I'm finally in the dock door, y'all, after an hour and a half, but I'm not complaining since I get paid by the hour now. But if this, if I wouldn't get paid by the hour, I would've been real irritated, like real, real irritated. I'm about to see if I see any of my old folks on the yard, and I guess past time, Go we'll talk to him, chit chat, chop it up. Y'all gonna give me some to drink. They got the vending machines and stuff on um swift side. That took my little head scarf off. I forgot I had that mess on my head. Ain't doing no damn work. <laughs> Look, I walk right into the vending machine. You why you ain't doing no work? Oh, <laughs> y'all, this is my trainer, my mentor. When I first started with Swift, I'm about to get something out the vending machine. I'm still here in the dock door, and it's 12.58. So I've been here since 9.30 this morning. Um, <laughs> So being local is like teaching me patience. I don't have to rush now. like. It's no point in rushing because I'm getting paid by the hour. So time gonna go by regardless. Before I go to my next load, they already sent me a message and said to drop this trailer that I have off. Instead of taking this to the next location, I'm gonna drop it off at Coca-Cola. I guess they need some empties. So I'm gonna sweep this out and then drop it off over there. That's only nine miles away. So it's really not going that far out of the way. And then head to Kennesaw. It was full. When I pulled up, they slowly but surely getting people down. Y'all see I'm still in the red. Y'all, they just finished unloading me. It's 1.30. And they wasn't going to finish the time I went in there. Like, what y'all doing, bruh? How, how four trucks pull up after me and got unloaded before me? I'm confused. Go ahead and close my trailer doors. Usually I leave them open, but I come here often enough so I know to go ahead and close them. Cause like most places when you leave it out, you gotta have your trailer doors open so they know that you empty. And then I'm headed to, where am I going? Kennesaw. This is the Coke Distribution Center. Yes, ma'am. Had to get this thing close to the edge. Ma'am. I'm at the next pickup. It's my last load for the day. And it's time to go home. All right, so that's cool. I don't have a trailer. I'm Bob Taylor right now, so I'm about to just park right here with the Bob Taylor crew. Make it do what it do. So hit this for the official arrival. Keep up with the time. Y'all see how many minutes sound like? 12.93 now, yeah. What's the reason why I'm late? Impossible dispatch. Has arrived. Go to the details again. And go ahead and get my PO numbers. And they got them long PO numbers again. But they'll start with a 04. So I already know it's that one. I wonder if I'm even picking up here. Because they got two warehouses on the same street. So sometimes I pick up from this one and sometimes I have to go down the street. What's that 402 number? 402-278-110. 
going up the street. Oh, right. <laughs> You're bobtail right now, right? Yes. That was quick and easy. Yeah, this trailer literally is going 10 miles up the street. It's going from Kennesaw to Eckworth. I'm looking for trailer 23488. about to give y'all the rundown because y'all already saw what I did the first time when I connected to a trailer do my pre-trip and stuff so that's what I'm about to go do then I'm about to get back in here and do my paperwork all right y'all it's the last drop of the day time to go home time to go home okay all right go for it actually but I chose this one because the other door handle was messed up on the other one and I ain't finna stress myself out with that one today so yeah about to hook up to this and take this to the house baby I'm finishing up my paperwork y'all I realized that I touched a hell of a lot of trailers in a day <laughs> too many to be exact Tomorrow, I'm probably gonna do a short day because I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I'm tired. Tired. Oh, y'all, I met the lady um, that used to be on this truck. The one that I told y'all she was um, going to another account. So she went to the Coke account that I was at earlier. She was so Attention. nice, like really sweet. Message has arrived. I'm gonna holler at y'all when I get back to the terminal. 
I was so tired and ready to go home that I couldn't even finish the rest of the video with me getting back and stuff like that. So y'all, I'm leaving the terminal. My shift over, I'm going home, I'm going to sleep, okay? Just got home, I'm about to go see my baby. Hey. That is it, that is all. I'm about to get ready to go to bed. Thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. See y'all in the next video.